like my girls just like I like my honey. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I know that a lot of you are looking to find out how to throw a great and kick ass Friendsgiving. So I wanted to show little ideas that you can do for decorations, for rinks food or whatever and I just realized like this is so cute like why not show it to the world do you know what I mean so I'm going to walk you through all the decorations that I did because it is at my house because you know <laughs> let's start from the beginning shall we okay so when you first approach my house I just stole all these decorations from my parents a little pumpkin a little whatever that thing's called some pump like some real pumpkins and some hay you know and then another little bootleg pumpkin a cactus you know just my regular stuff and then when you come in i decided to put my little window and archway i put just some garland and at like i noticed that at places like michael's joanne's fabrics and mainly just those two places they had really inexpensive garland you could get them for like 40 to 70 percent off even during the season so like for example if you want to like go like do like a little border around your doorway or a little border on a window it should only cost me like ten dollars but i did steal this from my parents it's like a little mini house tour i didn't even realize this is one of my favorite things because it kind of just exactly says what it is it's friends giving i got this little balloon set on amazon i think it was like 12 dollars. yeah it just says the names i think that's a really smart idea because it kind of fills up space on the walls it makes everything make sense like where are people at like if people get scared like i don't know where i am i'm at friends giving you know i'm at friends giving for like table decor this is a really smart way to do like a friends giving or even thanksgiving table decor just get some green garland you can get this for inexpensive or expensive but places like joann's you could get like two garlands for i don't know like 15 dollars each but you'd use it for like throughout holidays like in christmas and stuff like that and then at places like trader joe's albertson's vaughn Sega brothers like whatever you have just put little um pumpkins that are like two dollars each like this one i think these are like two dollars and then the little ones are like a dollar fifty you can just like sporadically put them through and then i put some fake silk flowers throughout and what would make this even cuter is if you like strung twinkle lights through it but but I didn't have any extra so I also put like garland along my TV stand and then we put the table That's where all the food's gonna go once it is here Then I put a little bar cart right here just so that people can kind of help themselves to whatever they want They can do like wine Moscow mule cups shot glasses, etc Then we have like a little I just decided to take some of the decor that I already had I took this just because it kind of went with the aesthetic and I put that right there, two little pumpkins, and then a pumpkin scented candle. And then I put a little turkey. And at places like Joanne's Fabrics or Michael's, you're gonna find some little cute little turkeys. Like look how poorly made this one is, but you get the point. So I got it for sale, I got it 70% off because it was kind of bootleg. So hopefully nobody looks too in detail on this thing because like, what, what is this? Why is this ribbon going like above its mouth? But it's fine. In my group of friends, we say familia para siempre. We've said that since high school. It's just kind of like an inside thing between all of us put a little cheese platter my friend's going to be bringing some olive tip in it through that right there just because i had it that's basically it oh I, over here too as well i already forgot for my fireplace i put a, some garland up here on top of the fireplace and then i connected it to this garland right here just to kind of hang down and i you know just like wrap some twinkle lights around it i added my extra pumpkins right there and right there and i found this ball in my parents garage so i just decided to just take it and as for food the thing that my friends and i like to do is send out a text which was me i sent out a text saying like okay guys like friendsgiving is going to be on this date like what are you planning on bringing and then people will like kind of name what they want to bring and then you can just create a list if you are the host just create a list and whatever gaps are missing and whoever's not like offered to buy or bring something yet just message them and be like hey can you bring the ice cream hey can you bring a pie hey can you bring some mac and cheese hey can you bring some bread so that's what we do like we just like fill in the gaps and just send out a final text so everybody knows like who's bringing what and yeah since people are coming here i wanted to have like a hot drink for when people arrive but i decided that i wanted to do like a um a spike apple cider because a lot of my friends do drink the alcohol and i just thought that it would be you know nice of me to do that so this is the crock pot it's a slow cooker 
And what you do is you put six cups of apple cider. You can get it like at any grocery store as long as it's apple cider. So six cups of apple cider. And then you put like eight pieces of like whole cloves in it. And then you put two of those like star guys in it. What are those things called? This is called star what? Star anise, anise. <laughs> I haven't done my hair yet, by the way. Please don't judge me. Eight whole cloves, then put two of these star anises, and then put two cinnamon sticks into the crock pot. And then if you have a lemon um, and, and oranges, like slice them into little slices and like lay them in the, into the crock pot it makes it so that like once it's slow cooking it like makes this big old like concoction of like deliciousness um, after it's cooked you put it into like a container after you filter it you don't put you don't keep the cloves because you don't want anybody to like chew it because i would just be like it would taste weird to people you like basically filter it like with spaghetti you know what i mean <laughs> and then you just put them into like a container, maybe chop up some apples, put it on the top, and then add like a cup and a half to two cups of like any kind of whiskey or bourbon that you like. Um, I'm just gonna do like a cup and a half because my friends do drink alcohol, but I'm not trying to like, you know, get people drunk. <laughs> whiskey, I'm gonna put Jack Daniels just because I had some leftovers. And then add it to that and then just call it a day. Depth spiked cider. And also as for like glassware, I felt like using mason jars is also a really good idea because it kind of adds to the aesthetic. And then you can do like wine glasses. I have wine glasses out. And this is my makeup. I did just like a very neutral nude lip. And I'm gonna curl my hair right now just because people are probably gonna get here relatively soon. So yeah. Good times, good times. <laughs> 